Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to learn-automation.com. Today we are going to discuss how to work with disable or not disable. I will say I will say hidden web elements. This is one of the important and very interesting topic in Selenium, uh, where you will deal with uh, some invisible web elements. So let me get started. Let me show you the high-level agenda. So we'll discuss what is exactly this hidden web elements and why. In some application, you will find this hidden web element, and you will notice once you start working on the hidden web elements, Selenium will throw you an element not visible exception. So how to overcome with that? We'll see some uh, solution as well. So uh, let me go to Eclipse, and uh, I have one sample application ready here. So I will give you the sample link uh, in the description of this video, so you can also check. So. Uh, I created right now only four, five posts, but soon I will be creating more. So uh, let me start inspecting one by one. So you can see I have what two radio button here. One is male, one is female. So if I click on female, you can see I have one uh, input which is highlighting the female uh, radio button. ID is female and type equal to radio. And if you just click on this mail, you will see I have two input box, right, with the same. One is uh, ID equal to mail, type equal to radio. But if you see one more, I have with hidden attribute. So you can see, ideally, I should have two radio button on the screen because I am using two. But one is hidden, so you are not able to see one more radio button. So now if you try to write one X path, let's say I can see the input box mail. So this X path is generating one X path plugin generating this X path. And you can see here it's two matching node, right? So what if I try to click on this? Ideally, it should click on mail, but here it is matching with two nodes. So just quickly we'll create one small class and I will say Firefox hidden web elements. I'm just creating a simple Java program. So if we are using J in rest engine, then you can use that as well. Quickly, I will start my browser using web driver, driver equal to new Firefox driver. Then I will pass the URL which uh, application uh, I have created for this demo. So I will just use that application. Now uh, let's maximize that as well. So driver.manage.windows.maximize. And let me do this in opposite way. So now if you see, if I try to click here, driver.findElement by xpath, and the xpath which we got from here or oh, let's take this id directly you can see we have the same uh, id for both the radio button right so let me take the id and let me say click so when you say id equal to mail then selenium will get two web elements and this is the, uh, you can say the feature of Selenium when you have multiple node matching with the same ID, Selenium will click on the first one. I will show you with the help of an example. When you, you write as <coughs> a specific X path or ID and through that particular locator you are getting multiple web element, then Selenium will try to click on a first one. And if you can see here, the first one is nothing but our hidden web element, right? Then if you try to click on a hidden web element, let's see what will happen. If I right click run as Java application. And this is one of the most important questions in interviews as well. They will ask you in a different way, like what are the challenges you have faced in your web application? Then this is very normal scenario in general web application. You will find some hidden web elements and you need to work with, you need to find out so once this page will load, it is not clicking. So you will see here, 
web driver is giving very meaningful exception like element is not currently visible so web driver is not able to interact with so whenever you're giving getting this lengthy exception then don't panic just try to read it so if you go in a reverse direction then you will find here it is actually coming in this particular line right we created this class just now like firefox hidden web elements and the exception is coming at line number 18 so if i click here it is navigating here now when i realized it's matching with two and when it's matching with two it's clicking on the first one which is hidden so let's do one thing let's see if i try to get the x and y coordinate so if I say get location dot get x and get y. So what is x y coordinate? So in Selenium or not in Selenium, if you see in QTP as well, if that element is currently visible on a screen, then definitely it should have some x and y coordinate, right? Then only it means it is displayed. So first I will check whether this particular uh, radio button or any other web element is having some positive x and y if yes then only i will move forward so let me show you i will say int x and in the same way i will say int y then if it contains some uh, x and y coordinate then we will see some other approach if x and y both are zero it means that element is not visible so i will say x coordinate plus x in the same way I will do for Y. So this is the problem statement solution I will show you in the next program how we can solve this problem. So as of now uh, what this get location will do. So it will check the location of that particular element and get X will simply return you the X coordinate. In the same way get Y will return you the Y coordinate. So if you see the description of this method, it says a point containing the location of the top left hand corner of the element. So let's run it and run as Java application and you will notice since we already know it's a hidden web element, you will get X and Y coordinate as zero. Let me close the previous instances, otherwise it will confuse you. So I will be proposing uh, only one solution, but you have multiple solutions to overcome with this. It's loading. I have uploaded three more solutions on my blog. This is the fourth one which I'm proposing in this video. So you can use any of this. So if you see X and Y coordinate is zero zero because that element is not currently visible. So let's do this uh, as we know it's matching with two so now we are going to use one additional method find elements so let me close this so it will be full screen so what i will do i will use driver dot find elements because right now we are dealing with multiple web elements so till now i have used only this one find element which simply returns me the web element but today we will be using this find elements so what exactly it does it will find all the web element for that particular locator and it will return you the list of web elements the first method will only return you the web element because you have given only one but this find web elements will return the list of web elements. So let me use find elements this time. And I will give ID. So in this case, definitely it is going to return me two web elements. So I will be storing since it will return me list of web elements. You can see in the left side list list of web elements. So I will be writing list of web elements and here i will give some meaningful names a radio so it will give you two errors so put mouse over on the list and you can see you will get three options don't get confused just always click on the java.util 
and you need to import this web element as well which is coming from the selenium so now you have this radio object which is nothing but a type of list of web element so if you want to know how many uh, radio buttons are matching with this particular ID I can write like total web elements or total radio button uh, then I can use this object radio then I can call one predefined method called size let me type directly total radio buttons radio dot size now the logic which we are going to use what we will do will run a for loop we'll get every element one by one then we will check if the x and y coordinate is equal to zero then go to the next web element so what I will do I will start my for loop with i equal to zero then I will go till the number of web elements we have so definitely our for loop will start with zero and radio size is two right so it, it this for loop will run two times zero and one and if you don't want to get confused then I can write the code in one more line I will say count this count I will mention here and same I will mention here so it will start with uh, 0 till the number of web elements we have which is nothing but 1 and will take web element one by one if x and y coordinate or even you can check with x coordinate if it equal to zero then go to the next web element so what i will do when when we run this first time we will say radio dot get get is a method of this list so in this you need to pass the index so i'm passing the index as the uh, i value and i will say the get location get x so here I will get the x coordinate and I will write if x is not equal to 0 then there's some problem with this Okay, if x is not equal to 0, then uh, get that element using this. Then click on it and break the for loop. If x in, uh, does not equal to 0, it means that particular web element it will definitely exist and it will click and finally it will break the loop. If you don't break the loop, then what will happen it will keep checking all the web elements so in the program flow will be it will start with zero it will go two times so in the first iteration i will be zero so what it will it will take radio list it will get the first web element it will check the location x then we'll check if x does not equal to zero then click otherwise break so let me run this two time one time i will show you with normal mode one time with uh, debug mode so it will be easy for you to understand then I will close this so what you can do you can create a library for this uh, for your framework and whenever you find such type of exception which is element not visible exception then you can use this XY coordinate concept as well so you will notice yes it is clicking on mail and it says total radio button are two as simple as that so let me uh, complete this code once again with uh, let me do some small modification because it seems quite complicated if you are completely new so what I will do I will break this into two part like 
I will get the elements in a separate variable ELE. It means when you run for loop, it will return you first web element. From that web element, I will take the location, get x coordinate. If yes, then that element only I will click. So let me show you through a debug statement. I will put one debug point at line number 32 and let me close again. So my control will stop here. I will put one breakpoint at line number 24 as well. This time let's put in a debug mode. So whenever you are uh, getting this kind of uh, questions like what are the challenges you have faced in real time then you can tell one example of hidden web elements. Second is if you have same ID or XPath uh, which is matching with, uh, matching with multiple nodes then how you will handle. So using this find elements you can handle. So uh, now it came to debug mode. So you can see the control is stopped here at line number 24. So if I press F6, I got one variable called count equal to 2 and now I will press F6. So you can see this system, uh, this lambda number 25 executed. So this is the statement. Now this is really very interesting part. Now if I try to run this, Let me open this variable window. So i value is 0. Yes, because we started with 0. So as of now, i value is 0. So it will take the first web element and it will store in this ELE object. Right? So now you, we got ELE. Now we will see get x. So x is obviously 0 for the first web element. Now it is checking if x does not equal to 0, which is false. So again it went to the for loop. Now this time you will notice it will inc increment by 1 and you can see i equal to 1. So definitely it will pick the second web element. Yes it is picking. Now if you try to take the x coordinate now it is 240 because that second web element is visible. Now definitely it will go to if statement and if you see right now it is not clicked but when I execute this statement it clicked so you can see it got clicked now if I say break it will come out of this for loop and it will exit your program so this is how you can debug your program so just try this if from your side it works fine for every hidden web elements I have tried almost with different cases now one more example before ending up this video so let's say uh, I designed all these four radio buttons in a such a way when you try to see every radio button having different ID like Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby but you will find the name language equal to like same language right name equal to lang. So what if I take this name and if I try to let me create a separate copy of it. paste and I will say it's one so this time uh, let me take let me delete this first so question comes what if I use driver dot find element only and I will use this name name is lang right yeah lang here so if I use this and if I say dot click so now question comes if I use this way then what will happen as of now we can see lang is matching with four nodes and I am clicking directly so in this case selenium will by default will take the first web element with this particular name and it will click so in our case we have four radio buttons with the same name called lang 
so it will click on Java so this is again one tricky question which you might face in your real time and in, in your interviews as well then I will show you one more dynamic way uh, but that in the next video because this video will only focus on how to work with hidden web element and how to solve element not visible exception so you will see it is clicking on the first option because it is matching with four so it will take the first web element and it will click now the another scenario which I'm going to talk in the next video I want to write a general method like if I pass Java then it should click on this Java checkbox if I pass Ruby then it should click on the Ruby checkbox so we want to make it little bit dynamic so based on my parameter or based on my input it should take the respective radio button that we'll see in the next video how we can make it dynamic so thank you so much for watching th watching this video if you have any doubt you can comment below and feel free to contact you can comment below and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much we'll see you in the next video bye bye